gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and nice to see you after so long the internet connection is very bad here so i am not able to upload videos my apologies until october 16th it will be like this sometimes i will upload and sometimes will i will not be able to upload all right so the other day somebody had asked me a question that what to do when life gets out of control what to do how to take life how to control life how to take life in our hands our own life in our hands all right many times we see that life gets out of balance everything is going haywire everything is crazy so what to do then all right so we will see the preventive steps and the curative steps also okay so there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation regarding your career marriage health or affairs or childbirth or anything else or if your life has gone out of balance and you want me to bring it to balance then you can go to my website then and please book a reading with me you will find the link to the website in the description section of this video below okay and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and hopefully you find him <laughs> so now what's happening is due to the civilization the materialistic civilization which we are all in because of this is the material world many people tell that our lives have gone astray our lives have gone out of balance so what to do when that happens now life will always be out of balance to some extent that's the first thing we have to understand it will it will never be like a uh, they say na it will never be a royal road it will never be a cake walk so the first thing is we have to understand that life will never be like that so when we know that then we do not get frustrated because if we do not know this then we we might have this expectation that life will always be a cake walk no unfortunately it is not so when we know that it will not be so then we have to prepare that now my life is out of balance or we have to try to prevent do doing those things which can take us out of balance okay so what are those activities which take our life out of balance which make us slaves to our own mind and senses which means that we do what the mind is telling us to do but we don't do what we want to do do you understand so this it it is said in the scriptures that the mind is a good uh servant but a bad master <laughs> which means that if you start listening to the mind it will wreak havoc in your life all right but if you make the mind do what you want to do then it is very good friend it can give you a lot of things but most of the times as you know the opposite happens we end up listening to the mind shrimad bhagavatam says हलाव भक्त से कुतो महद गुणान मनो रथे ना सती धावतो बही बही टू मेनी प्लेसेस द माइंड इज वॉन्डरिंग मनो रथे ना सती बिकॉज ऑफ आसक्ति विच इज डिजायर एंड अटैचमेंट यस द माइंड इज गोइंग टुडे टुडे आई वॉन्ट दिस बॉय टू मोर आई वॉन्ट दैट बॉय यस टू मोर दिस गर्ल फ्रेंड देन समबडी एल्स सो लाइक दैट द माइंड इज वॉन्डरिंग सो इट इज वेरी इसेंशियल दैट वी कंट्रोल द माइंड otherwise if you do not then we will end up getting controlled by the mind so people will say that oh i want independence i want independence from this from that but ultimately if your mind is not controlled you are eternally dependent on the mind so lord krishna answers this question arjuna says that he says it is difficult to control the mind it is more difficult to control the mind then it is to control the winds winds yes because the because arjuna is a very powerful warrior in kurukshetra he can control the winds just by discharging a celestial weapon the vyastar but he is telling he is telling it's not you or me <laughs> arjuna is the most qualified is the unparalleled undisputed warrior in the battlefield of kurukshetra there's nobody like him there but he is telling that i cannot control the mind imagine how difficult it is so lord krishna says by doing two things you can control the mind which is practice and detachment 
त्यागात एंड अभ्यास दीज आर द टू थिंग्स विच इज सेस सो दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू लर्न टू कल्टिवेट डिसिप्लिन इन लाइफ इफ यू डू नॉट कल्टिवेट डिसिप्लिन देन आवर लाइफ विल ऑलवेज बी आउट ऑफ ट्रैक इट विल ऑलवेज बी आउट ऑफ बैलेंस एंड हाउ डू यू कल्टिवेट डिसिप्लिन डिसिप्लिन कैन ओनली बी कल्टिवेटेड इफ यू आर इन द मोड ऑफ सत्व गुणा विच इज मोड ऑफ गुडनेस इफ यू आर इन रजोगुण और तमोगुण यू विल नॉट हैव डिसिप्लिन सी रजोगुण इज गुड टू स्टार्ट थिंग्स इट हैज लॉट ऑफ पैशन मोड ऑफ पैशन एंड तमोगुण इज वेरी गुड फॉर एंडिंग थिंग्स डिस्ट्रॉइंग एनी थिंग गेट्स डिस्ट्रॉयड इन तमोगुणा बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सस्टेन थिंग्स येस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव कंटिन्यूटिंग थिंग्स कंसिस्टेंसी दोज थिंग्स विल ओनली बी देयर इन द मोड ऑफ गुडनेस सत्वगुणा ओके एंड वेन यू आर इन सत्वगुणा यू कैन गो टू विशुद्ध सत्व विशुद्ध सत्व इज प्योर स्पिरिचुअल गुडनेस दैट इज बियॉन्ड द एग्जिस्टेंस एंड रेलम ऑफ मैटर सत्व राजा तमा दीज थ्री आर स्टिल इन दी मोड्स ऑफ मटीरियल नेचर बट विशुद्ध सत्व इज बियॉन्ड दी सत्वगुणा ऑल्सो and vishuddha sattva is spiritual perfection it is spiritual consciousness where the atma realizes that he is an atma <laughs> that i am not this body i am spirit soul so to realize that we will have to have knowledge of the scriptures so it is good if you can read the scriptures every day morning half an hour it's very good so then our life will be disciplined we will have the command we will know what to do when to do how to do when to do when not to do yes scriptures will tell you when to do and when not to do both the things they are very important to know then we can read the scriptures like rama and we can read scriptures like mahabharat apart from reading scriptures like the gita and the bhagavatam because scriptures like rama and and mahabharat they will have lot of stories divine stories which will help us gain enlightenment they will help us to see that how great personalities behaved at the time of at the time when their life went out of balance <laughs> like yudhishthira maharaj he is the emperor of the entire world the entire universe and suddenly in that gambling match he is reduced to a pauper all everything whatever he has is gone his wife is insulted everything is lost can you imagine nothing is there with him he is like a penniless pauper he is wandering the forests not having anything wow what a disaster what a tragedy what a calamity but still he maintained his cool he maintained his calm because once what happens what is uh, that yudhishthir maharaj is sitting in his kutir in kut- in his kutia and then arjun and bhim comes to him and says that Oh my dear elder brother we are destined to stay here for 13 years but we know that in in the scriptures there are statements that in extreme cases we can take 13 days for 13 years all right and so today is the 13th day so let us go and attack duryodhan then yudhishthir maharaj said no i will not do that i will not twist and turn and twist the principles of the scriptures just for my sake i will not do that and then arjun and bhim they also said okay if you don't want to go we will also not go <laughs> so even at the midst of such dangerous calamities such tragedy such catastrophes in fact he was not his mind was not wavering you see that is why he is known as yudhishthir one who is calm even when there is war so we need to read this read the scriptures then we will understand what life is we will understand the higher meaning of life athato brahma jigyasa as the vedanta sutra says otherwise not much use <laughs> and then we also should chant mantras when we chant mantras we will have that calm inside us we will feel very peaceful we will feel that we are able to connect to god then as i say god is there with you you will realize god is actually there with you if you do not chant then maybe he's there but he's not with you <laughs> or maybe he's still with you but he uh, you cannot see him because lord krishna says in the gita ishwara sarva bhuta naam hriday sherjuna tishthati that i am situated hriday she in the hriday in the heart of everybody so when you 
now god is always there with you but when you are materialistic it is like there's a covering we cannot see god even if he's there okay so we need to cleanse that dirt which is there in the heart the dirt of materialistic desire then we can see god as he is as dhruva maharaj saw in as we know in the shrimad bhagavatam it is there that dhruva maharaj was meditating and after 6 months lord vishnu appeared and then when lord vishnu appeared he said oh i was such a fool when i could have seen you i was asking i was thinking to ask you na a kingdom which is greater than my great grandfather brahma ji's kingdom of course that's a separate story in itself we will discuss about that also some other day but we have to understand that we need to connect to god otherwise our life will always be out of balance okay so reading the scriptures chanting mantras then in the weekends we can try to associate with some holy people go to some spiritual retreats <coughs> within our city or town or village or wherever we are by that we will gain the inspiration to continue to read the scriptures and chant the mantras because reading scriptures and chanting mantras these two are the two most important activities of our spiritual life everything else is secondary if you, if you don't do these then nothing else will happen okay everything else will fall just doing these two things will give us the power to carry on in our spiritual life lifelong and apart from that we should abstain from doing sinful activities like illicit sex then meat eating then gambling intoxication okay watching things like pornography gossiping about others who is having an affair with whom or who is getting a new job <laughs> reading books like fantasy land la la land harry potter watching things like big boss game of thrones then discussing the useless rubbish garbage of this world like cricket yes football <laughs> such a waste of time my god and then watching things like hot scene bed scene kissing scene intimate scene so many scenes my god one day your life will become a, a scene <laughs> and then going on doing things unnecessarily not required instagram uploading photos every day yes seeking validation from others such a useless waste of time my god so instead of doing all these things we have to take control of our life by taking shelter in the divine and lord krishna says in the gita that i will deliver you from all sinful reactions do not fear moksha ishami ma suchaha he says if you know where he says this then write it in the comments which chapter and which verse okay so there you go short video i don't know how much time this will take to upload and as i said till october 16th the situation will be like this only but i will still try to upload videos okay so there you go if you are new to the channel and if you are not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me then please go to my website and book a reading you will find the link to the website in the description section of this video below and watch the video with james braha yesterday amazing it is okay until next time good luck bye bye see you